No way. No way. Welcome to the channel, guys. As you might have seen by the thumbnail of this video, I made my own axial flux electric motor. The stator is 3D printed, also with these bearing plates on each side, and they are joined by 6 volts. Also, I have this 3D printed magnet ring that holds and spaces all the magnets evenly that bolts directly to this iron plate. Also, I machine this axle, which is stainless steel, and this iron plate. And then I join it to, together with a key and then finished machining the whole thing so it has almost zero runout. And the rotor goes into the stator like so. So enough talking, let's see how I did it. And there goes the board. Yeah, it's hot. These two are version 2. The stator design is the same, but they are one differently. And, and they are complete heaters. The, the contraption doesn't work. So now it's time to version 3 and see if it works. This is version 3. With these tabs that hold one plate with the bedding on each side so I just finished winding the second phase and there's only one remaining so I'm winding it like this skin here and I'm almost done so the windings are complete and I tied it with a piece of rope I had laying around because I don't have with me the Kevlar rope but now I will remove the insulation of each end and we are ready to mount all the pieces together and do some testing I'm going to Put back these magnets here at the version one and then mount the bearing on everything and we will be ready to test it so here i have the power brick 12 volts directly connected to this brushless controller board i bought a bunch of these for three bucks on aliexpress and works and they work well with hard disk motors but now the moment of truth need to give him spin maybe no way no way holy cow maybe i can give it a bit more yes no way man no no it doesn't want to go a bit more maybe going back a bit I got it back. I lose it if I give it too much. No. The windings are cold. No way. Third time's a charm. Yes, it is.
No way. I made this tiny piece on the lathe. I'm going to press it in here with the vise and then drill a hole just at the edge to start machining the, the key. Now this piece is pressed in and I punched here at the edge and now I'm going to drill it. So for the magnets, I used neodymium magnets. These ones are 10 by 10 by 5 millimeters. And the ones that go between, the big ones, are 10 by 5 by 3 millimeters. These go in this way. And these ones go by their side. So there are 24 big slots for 24 of these ones and 24 for these smaller ones arranged in a holdback configuration. The holes that you see here, these tiny holes, are for pressing the magnets out with this bit, just in case I screw up. For testing, they were like this, but with the steel plate. I glued them in place because they were always falling out and it was almost impossible to fit here the steel plate. Now I finished machining the other end of the shaft and drilled and tapped an M6 hole and the only thing remaining is to mill a keyway slot going the other way for this that slot I have prepared the tool post milliner attachment connect it to the power supply of the CNC And I am going to start milling. I finally got the magnets, the magnet ring attached to the steel plate. It took me a while and I pinched some of my fingers, so holy cow, even those even though they are small, they are strong. And now I'm going to keep assembling the rest of the motor. Let's try it. Ooh, almost it starts itself up. There you go. <laughs> It has a lot of unbalance. I'm going to balance it. Now let's do a full run with the weights.
So it seems more balanced now, but still has some unbalance left. If this video gets some attention, I will try to modify the axle and fit another plate with magnets here, so I have both sides with magnets. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.